are you doing today? How is your world doing? Are you totally living your best life today? Are you just being who you truly are with all your heart? Are you expressing this love that you have inside yourself? Today is really your day that you can just blossom to the fullest, that you can be who you are with all your heart. Are you decided already? What are your heart desires? Are you focusing on them? Are you letting them in? Are you being in the flow of all that is bringing you toward your heart desires? Today is really your day that you just allow yourself more, that you are in this flow toward your heart desires. What are you, your heart desires? What is your true and only value that you have in your life and now decide it for yourself? You are totally worthy that your heart desires are being realized. You have to keep them alive. You have to visualize them. You have to feel already like they are true. You have to talk about them. You have to imagine them. And the most important, you have to be that. You have to already be all of what, what you desire, that then you can truly open to it and then relax. All is going to come to you. Relax and just have fun. Be grateful that you are who you are and express the, this beauty that you have inside. You are totally worthy that you live your life your way. Of course, we have other people in our lives. They want to just help us the, with their best intention, uh, intentions, but that is not for us. They are talking from their point of view. You should totally listen to your heart. You should totally listen how and just what are your heart desires and just go that, just go in direction of your heart desires. You don't have to question that no matter what is happening. You are who you are and also decide who you are and then just go toward your goals and let it be natural. Let it go toward your goals. You are like you are going to breath, like you are going to not something special. You are just going there and that's it. You are decided. So decide for yourself today and focus more on that. I have such a rich nightlife in my dreams, I think. I have my energy spread out to many different areas that I saw through dreams, that I have to focus more on what I really want. That is important to me. And my dreams are predictions for my future if I don't change anything. And if I am dreaming something unpleasant or like no, when I am all over the place, I can focus my energy that I visualize my true heart desires and totally that I ask myself. But what is that I really want? What do I really desire? And then that I ask second question, why do I want it? Because when I am asking about why I am, why I am wanting something, then I know the feelings behind it behind it and then I can reach forward that I am going toward my heart desires. Then I can feel good now in this moment and I want to give priority to only one thing in this year that I am feeling a little bit fat better, that I am feeling good all the time, not all the time, that I am happy. My pure intention in this year is that I feel this inner joy, that I feel this inner satisfaction, that I am who I truly am with all my heart. And I want to just share something with you. We are now reading this book, A Course in Miracles, of course you know it. And it's so beautifully written. I am just going to read through. Uh, to it about course what is in this course nothing real can be threatened nothing unreal exists herein lies the peace of god and that is so beautiful because we are already love and love is true and love cannot be destroyed so if we are love that is our true and truth. And now we are just 
willing or we are just going to express it in these years in this year what are your heart, heart desires who truly are you and now just be it relax into it and now i am going to read you some thoughts from my notebook let me see what do i have here if you don't have a pure and healthy love and respect toward yourself how can you expect that you can give that to others and if you don't if you can't give that to others how can you expect that that everything or anybody will give that back to you i don't know who has written that I think that has that was from Philip Macro. I think so. Be with all heart in. Do what is necessary, and you are going to have what you really want. Don't give up, but insist. Don't give up, insist, let change be your everyday ingredients in your lifetime. And then you can truly go forward toward your heart desires. So it's so important that we are open to change, that we are going toward our heart desires. We can totally imagine it and when we are imagining it, then we are talking about it, we are thinking about it and then we are just directing all our actions toward our heart desires. But it's important foremost and that is so important before we go into the action that we are feeling good, that we are in high vibration because, because that is going to reflect our results. And now I have these thoughts, that is in Slovenian language, by Louis Lehey. That, does, that are the thoughts of the power. How is that in really in English? Thoughts? I cannot find it. Yes, 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 yes. Hmm. Oh! Powerful thoughts. 365 daily affirmation. Affirmations by Louis Lehey. So let me see what affirmations are we going to get today. I am cherishing with joy in the center of my being, my inner child. I love him and I appreciate him. Every moment is a new beginning. My life is so kind toward myself. My life is so kind. Just be kind toward yourself. Just do more. What really makes you happy? And your vibration is going to change so easily. And now I would love to read you something from, that is uh, my planner by Anna Bucevic. Can you see it? Yes, and there are so beautiful uh, thoughts about love. I would love to read you something. love don't search for love just be love and then the soulmate is someone that help us to recognize ourselves even better that was so beautiful just be whatever you want to be and just be this love that you have already inside you and uh, now 
we have this box as you already know it and i just want to talk something true with you first i totally believe in my guardian angels i have angels in every room in my house like here here is a little one yes here and i totally believe in my guardian angel and when i pray this guardian angel prayer i just feel that it helps i prayed for others uh, members of my family when they are going through difficulties but i should totally pray it like every day because i feel it totally helps so i totally believe in my uh, guardian angel i and i totally believe that it helps me all the time and i am so grateful that i have my guardian angel and now we are going to read as you already know that are our Osho cards and we are going to ask what could we ask today maybe how could we be more love how could we be more love in everyday life how could we be more love as you know Osho will always answer us with truth so how can we be more love today in this week that one is the right one that one is the right one and as you can see is this kid here and the lock is open here but he stands and just uh, gaze toward the sunrise i think it's sunrise as you can see it and in it's loneliness maybe uh, or that you are being alone so i cannot wait that i tell what this card really means that was so interesting we were we were questioning about love and here it is that this boy on the picture is feeling alone and that is good you have to cut all the uh, strains to your um, society or mother or your family and that was necessary because then you can go into yourself and be these uh, feelings that you feel the connection to your uh, God, to your Buddha inside you. And when you are feeling alone, don't fill yourself with uh, pain and being unhappy. Just stand on your two feet be the woman be the man that you were uh, born to be you are now in these ages that you can stand for yourself that you are being uh, unique that you are who you are and that you are going to this traveling inside that is your true adventure and this kid on this card has these uh, locked doors but they are not really locked you should just go forward you should open the doors and go forward we think that we are little that we are helpless child but we are not and that play is uh, just being played into ourselves over and over uh, again but don't uh, torture yourself that you are not enough uh, because others are not accepting you and just letting them be, be in their group, in their crowd. Just let go of all this feeling in the past and let go of all of old pain it will just bring you clarity that you can open the door and 
just enter into what you really want to be, that you are most passionate about, that you are striving to be, just be all that. And that was so beautiful, we said, I can't even tell you. We were asking about love and now we were answered that we have to step into who we really are with all our heart, with all our being, that we can then be love that we want to get back. But give love and we are now in this stage that we can totally stand in our two feet. And now we have another card. Getting into the Vortex by Jerry and Esther Hicks. And let me see if I ask the same question. How can we be? How can we be love? How can we be more love in this day? How can we be more love? in this week how can just we more love how can we be really really more love how can we we be really more love i feel that one so let me see what is it i am going to show you are you seeing it the law of attraction assembles happy relationships. The law of attraction cannot bring you a well-balanced, happy person if you are not yourself already that. The law of attraction, no matter what you do or say, will bring to you those who predominantly match the person who you predominantly are. If you are not happy with yourself or with your life, the attraction of a partner will only exaggerate the discord. Exaggerate the discord because any action taken from a place of lack is always counterproductive. So we have given, we have been given the same answer as from Osho. As Osho said, we have to be happy first and then we can attract or we can be magnet to happy person and we have to be well balanced that we can attract well balanced person. And that is, that is so beautiful because we are asking about love and we have to work on on ourselves at first that we are totally being who we are with all our heart and then if we are totally being loved then we can get us when we can get this love from outside world outside world will only is going to reflect what we have inside so my loves have a beautiful day enjoy who you are just love really who you are you so deserve to be happy you so deserve that you live your life your way it's your life listen to your heart follow your bliss as joseph Campbell said, and just do more what really makes you happy honor yourself love yourself and bring more love into your life today bye